Indeed. Now, the mayor of El Cajon, California, Bill Wells, joins me now. He's back on the show. I'm glad to see him. You say the point of entry for migrants is shifting from Texas to California, and things are getting worse. Yeah. Why the shift? Well, you know, as Texas tightens up and Arizona tightens up, the cartels go to the point of least resistance. And so that means coming to San Diego because California obviously is not doing anything to tighten the border. In fact, we are rolling out the red carpet, making it incredibly easy to come in and to, to stay in uh, San Diego and California. Uh, what's happening to your town specifically? Well, you know, all of San Diego County is just being flooded. We've had 100,000 migrants come in in the, in the last four months, and we don't know who they are. We don't know where they're going. Hmm. So, you know, it's easy to understand why. Uh, we give them free health care. We give them free legal representation. We give them, of course, free education and, and welfare benefits. And we're even now offering free sex change operations. So hmm. it's, um, it's very much so that the state of California, just like homelessness, has said, look, come on in. We don't really care about the citizens, but we want um, homeless people on the streets and we want migrants on the streets. Uh, President Biden has long denied that there's a, a border crisis. Now he's reversing course and blaming MAGA Republicans. Watch this, please. Roll it. Every day between now and November, the American people are going to know that the only reason the border is not secure is Donald Trump and his MAGA Republican friends. It's time for Republicans in the Congress to show a little courage, to show a little spine, to make it clear to the American people that you work for them, not for anyone else. I know who I work for. I work for the American people. Uh, Your Honor, <laughs> I think you're a Republican. Do you need to show a bit more spine? Yeah, no, absolutely not. You know, I'm a doctor of psychology, yeah, right. and what this is is gaslighting. When people, when people with personality disorders want to shake their victims and make them question themselves, they just outright lie. Just, just like Biden recently saying that the grocery stores are gouging prices, and that, that's the reason that everybody's having trouble uh, paying their, their uh, food bills. You know, this is just absolutely gaslighting. If the numbers don't lie, we know who's coming over the border. We know what it looked like under Donald Trump versus what it looks like under Joe Biden. And you can gaslight us all they want, but people in America are waking up to this. And I think uh, there's going to be uh, a change in the next election. People are going to be making their voices heard. Uh, one quick point I'd like to make. I am told that in California, an illegal migrant borrows somebody's Social Security or borrows their identity, presents it to an employer, and works and the employer is not allowed to challenge and check on that ID. That's why so many illegals are working in California. Is that accurate? That is accurate. And I, you know, I mean, I think the, the, the kind of the dirty little secret is, and, you know, I mean, you saw Jay Paul uh, on your show just a while back talking, we, we need people to come and work. You know, they, they're not looking for equality. They're not, they're not looking for equity. They're looking for people to come and be servants. And, uh, you know, that's going to that's going to blow up in our face. That's not going to because people don't want to be servants. They, they want to aspire to greater things. I don't blame them for that. But if we bring them in and we're saying, no, your role in society, you're in the lower caste system, you're going to be our servants. I think there's going to be a lot of civil unrest as a result of that. I think you're probably right, Your Honor. What a great pleasure to have you on the show. And I do hope you can come back. Thank soon. you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you very much.